planet is ready. Space explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, it's a 2v3 match as 50-12 was bypassed for the match. Sometimes that happens when you have a big fix to make. 1983 lining up and securing that side of the cargo ship with their hatch panel and running back to the human player station to grab another one. Human players are now able to add cargo onto the field along with hatch panels for their robots. And 1983 spinning around back to the beginning of the cargo ship. Their alliance partners, 1891, lining up to slam a hatch panel onto the ship as all Blue Alliance bots are active and on the field. 3562 screaming across the field, dogging on 1983. That defense can be crucial to winning a game, and with Red only having two robots on their side, it could be damaging. We have Blue going back and forth between the loading stations of the cargo ship. 4698 grabbing cargo and dropping it in. Livewire returning to help out their teammates. 1983 dropping another cargo in. 1983 once again, the skunks finishing up this side of the cargo ship. They're a very fast machine and able to run back and forth between sides of the field. Having that ground pickup means they're a very, very effective cargo robot. 4698 is picking up with their human player dropped off. The loading station is great for dropping cargo onto the field, but sometimes that does bounce out of control. On the audience side of the field, that skunk works dropping cargo in. They have one more to put in there. They already have the front full, and there's still 40 seconds left in this match. Bobot's getting hemmed in by 3562, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna be intimidated too much as they're working to pick up more game pieces. That's the 30 second warning. It's time for robots to think about climbing. As 1983 lines up for the top, and Livewire makes the run for the second level. Chickadee is running and placing a hatch panel and right on target. But with 10 seconds left, they do want to make a climb if possible. 3562 flailing a little, but they stabilize. And with three seconds left, just short of the climb for Livewire. Stand by for your official scores. Your scores, and it's the Red Alliance pulling ahead. 73 to 45, with an extra ranking point for having enough robots on the hab to climb.